A lot of people rely on coffee to jumpstart their day, but something much bigger is brewing at Red River Roasters in Oklahoma City. When I came here, God turned my life around. The perks of this job can be life-changing for people like Crystal King. Well, I've spent about 13 years of my life battling addiction. I ended up incarcerated. I was doing a 15-year nonviolent sentence. I knew I had to turn my life around, and I couldn't do it on my own. I'd struggled for years. Giving ex-inmates work skills and renewed confidence is a great blend, says Tony Altazira, a former inmate himself and a member of the Red River Roasters Board. They don't have want ads in the, inside the prison walls. Thoughts and prayers go only so far. You really have to have a hands-on approach. You really have to have a support group of people. United Methodist pastor Brad Rogers leads Redemption United Methodist a community just for those with ties to prison. When people come out of prison, most people have a felony background and they have a lot of fines and they have a lot of fees. What they need is stable employment. As someone who, who went to prison for selling drugs, you think how quick, easy money, you know, how you could go back to that. I don't want to live that lifestyle, but geez, I got to pay my fines or they're going to put me back in jail. I have thought of all those things. This program has given me hope. They trusted me and they gave me the opportunity to grow. Coffee is waking people up to a way they can help their neighbors. And they get that little seed planted and then, uh, and then they start learning how to overcome those obstacles. Um, and it all starts with, with this church. It all starts with this ministry. When I came here, my life became so different. There is hope, there, there, and there really is. There really is. Some people don't realize that. They don't know how to get out of it. And, you know, people deserve a second chance. And through Red River, we offer people second chances. And I can't imagine not being involved in this. 